Next, let us look at the significance of principles of management. There are six points mentioned in your textbook. Principles of management provide managers with useful insights into reality, which means that they allow managers to understand and to deal with new situations by learning from the past experiences of others. Suppose a patient goes to a doctor with some symptoms that the doctor has not seen earlier. The patient has a high fever, the patient is turning yellow and the patient has some pain in the stomach area. Other doctors who have seen similar symptoms in the past will have documented that if a patient is showing all of these symptoms, it must be jaundice. By referring to the experiences of other doctors, this doctor who has not seen such symptoms earlier can quickly understand that this is probably a case of jaundice and can ask the patient to undergo some tests to confirm the diagnosis and provide treatment. The experience of this doctor will confirm the previous knowledge and if there are any new learnings, they can also be documented and added to the previous knowledge so that other doctors in the future can make use of this body of knowledge. Similarly, management principles will allow managers to learn from the experiences of other managers and deal with new situations that they have not seen earlier. By learning from the experiences of other managers, any business situations, which might be problems or opportunities, can be dealt with quickly by reducing the need for trial and error. Which means that these principles help in the optimum utilization of resources and in effective administration through better utilization of resources, time and money. They can also reduce personal biases from decisions because the manager is learning from the collective past experiences of others who have dealt with similar situations in the past. So, even if the manager wants to react in a particular way, which might be the wrong way, the principles can guide him to act in a different way, which is the correct way. Because the principles of management are based on past experiences, they are based on facts and they are based on data, they are more scientific as compared to a gut feel or a blind faith. Therefore, the principles of management will allow businesses to take scientific decisions. Management principles will also allow businesses to proactively or reactively meet changing environment requirements. For example, if a particular product is becoming popular in other countries, Indian companies can proactively assess if such a product will sell in the Indian market and can manufacture it so that they can capture the market. Encourages evidence-based responses to business situations means that business decisions may be taken on the basis of actual evidence of what has happened in other countries or what other companies and how other managers have dealt with in similar situations. Principles of management also set some standards on how companies should behave and what kind of responsibilities they have towards their employees and towards the society in general. So in a way, they encourage transparency in management and in business practices forcing businesses to fulfill their social responsibilities. And uh, because the principles of management are part of a documented body of knowledge, which is constantly growing and evolving, these principles become the basis of the study of management as a subject. Therefore, the principles of management can be used for training, for research and for education.